Today we're going to be looking at green flies, especially on rose bushes, and they seem to mainly get together on the stem and the buds of the flower and they like to suck juices so that will mean once the flowers grow they won't be as healthy they'll have curling leaves you can see some here there were a lot more there's a few things you can do to get rid of them you can just simply take them off with the jet hose and they drop down onto the soil there's some there there were a lot more but this is from yesterday I've done the water tests and they seem to have come back so looking online there's suggestions of other ways to get rid of these green flies here's, here's some here and we're gonna try that today it's basically water mixed with the washing up liquid this is what we're gonna be using simply fairy and washing up liquid you can get some eco-friendly version if you want I'm just gonna eye this Put about a tablespoon into this much water you saw that there we don't want to shake it too much because it'll start bubbling but basic uh, cheap sprayer from a home store you can get and just give it a little wobble to get the greens mixed up and we'll spray this onto the leaves try and do it in the morning try and do it in the morning because what will happen is if you do it later in the day this can dry and burn the flowers so either early in the morning or late in the evening so you can see that it's slightly mixed with fairy I haven't shaken it too much because it'll get bubbly but we'll have a look at this in a little while and see how well this works but it should basically dry out the green flies and prevent them coming back if it does rain you want to apply this again so we'll give it a little while and we'll come back and see how well it's done as a quick 20 minute update so we've sprayed and you can start to see there's no movement and they've kind of dried dried up or burnt out the green flies that is or orphids as they call them in America I think but yeah that seems to have worked but we'll, we'll keep an eye on it and see how it goes because ideally we don't want to use chemicals well technically washing up liquid is chemical but if you use the eco-friendly version you should be okay but yeah so far it's looking promising and the main thing to remember is if it rains we gotta reapply we normally look at the garden every other day anyway so if it does rain we normally come out and afterwards because that will wash this away because this acts as a repellent so they basically don't like it they won't gather around that area and it's mainly on the new growth that they do like to congregate no idea of how much we applied that's the bottle after but that was we've got multiple rose bushes there's a small one here there's a big one there I've got a few smaller ones back there and there and there so you can see how many sprays about half the bucket full of them